Today we'll be looking at how a software map of the entire planet could change the world forever. If you're new to this channel, welcome. This is Mr. Singularity, where we explore the illuminating scientific and technological breakthroughs shaping the future as we know it. Covered with cameras, sensors, and a strikingly spacecraft-looking laser system, Google's autonomous cars were easy to detect when they first reached public roads in 2015. The main hardware ingredient is a roof-mounted rotating laser named Litter that offers the vehicle a pair of eyes to see the globe. Litter operates by sending out light beams and calculating the time that it takes for artifacts to bounce back to the source. By timing the journey of light, these depth-sensing devices create fully 3D maps of their surroundings. 3D maps like this are simple machine copies of the physical universe. They will be critical to the advancement of a broad variety of new innovations, including automated driving, drone delivery, robots, and a quickly approaching future packed with increased truth. Like other innovations that are increasingly improving, litter is progressing fast along the production period. What was costly equipment on the roof of a well-funded research project is now being cheaper, more capable, and more readily accessible to customers. At some point, litter would be common on most handheld devices and is already applicable to early adopting owners of the iPhone 12 Pro. User litter marks an eventual transition from rich tech firms producing our planet map data to a more scalable, crowdsourced solution. Google has recently invested $1 to $2 billion to create an archive for its Street View Maps product to send cars around continents photographing any street. Compare this to a live monitoring application like Waze, which utilizes crowdsourced user data from millions of users to produce reliable and real-time traffic conditions. While both maps have different purposes, one is static, costly, unchanging map of the globe, while the other is complex, real-time, and user-constructed. Millions of users would soon be scanning everything from bedrooms to cities, culminating in high-quality 3D charts. The online search for litter room scans reveals how richly textured these three-dimensional maps are relative to what we've seen before. With litter and other depth sensing devices, we already have instruments to make precise software copies of anything and everything on Earth. At some stage, possibly to be funded by crowdsourcing campaigns, these maps would become live, breathing, real-time depictions of the globe. Some people refer to this concept as a digital twin of the Earth. In a feature cover article, Kevin Kelly, co-founder of Wired Magazine, calls this idea a mirror world a one-to-one -one software chart of everything. But why is it really such a huge deal? Taking virtual reality as an example of it, none of the developing businesses that rely on such a chart are more invested in having this idea emerge than those in the AR landscape. Apple, for example, is not so secretly designing a pair of AR glasses that they believe could provide a significant tipping point for technology. For Apple's AR devices to function as planned, they would need virtual maps of the globe, a term named AR Cloud by AR Insiders, which is associated with the mirror world concept. These charts are going to be two things. First, it would be a medium used by developers to put AR material in very unique locations, like a painting on a world canvas. Second, they can help AR devices to locate and grasp the environment around them so that they can make content in a credible manner. Imagine heading along the street attempting to verify the trade hours of the nearby company. Instead of taking your phone out to do the tiring web quest, you're performing a visual Google search equivalent simply by staring at this shop. Although a trivial illustration, the AR Cloud is a totally non-trivial modern way of organizing how we arrange knowledge around the globe. Access to information can be moved from remote monitors in our wallets to their respective real-world positions. In the end, this represents the blurring between physical and interactive infrastructure. Consequently, our public and private areas would be similarly composed of both. No example of this is better than Pokemon Go. The game is easy enough, 
users collect fictional characters spread across the physical world. Today, the game relies on conventional GPS technologies to position its characters, but GPS is reliable just a few meters away from the venue. This degree of precision is necessary to enable a car to maneuver on a highway or to locate Pikachus in the real world. For drone deliveries, driverless vehicles, or to position a Pikachu in a particular spot, say, on a tree branch in a forest, GPS is not precise enough. As shocking as it might be, many experimental AR cloud concepts, including fully mapped towns, are location-specific down to the centimeter. Niantic, the $4 billion publisher behind Pokemon Go, is working actively to create a crowdsourced solution to creating better AR cloud maps by enabling its users to search the globe for them. The recent purchase of 6D.ai, a visualization software business founded by Victor Priskeriu of Oxford University through his work at Oxford's successful Vision Center, shows Niantic's ambition to contend with the tech giants in this space. With 6D.AI technology, Niantic is building an in-house capacity to create its own 3D maps while acquiring a deeper semantic understanding of the globe. By moving past simply understanding that there is a temporary set of orange cones in a certain area, for example, the game might one day explain the sense behind it, that a temporary construction zone implies that no Pokemon can spawn here to prevent attracting players to that location. Niantic is not the first organization to operate on this. Some of the major tech corporations you'd expect whole departments to rely on map info, Facebook for example, has recently purchased a UK-based Scrape Technology, a machine vision company mapping cities with centimeter accuracy. As our interactive maps of the globe develop, we foresee an unwavering and well-founded discussion of privacy issues. How is the business going to respond to the possibility of a real-time 3D chart of their bedrooms residing on a Facebook or Amazon server? Many shocked at the usage of face recognition AI used in public places are unlikely to take a consolidation in the prospect of a machine-readable environment subject to limitless surveillance. The capacity to create high-precision maps of the globe will reshape the way we communicate with our Earth and appear to be one of the best technical advances of the next decade. Although these maps may remain concealed behind the scenes, infrastructure driven by a lot of flashier technology that catches the eyes of the world, they may soon serve vast portions of our technical future. Bear that in mind as the path is shared by a vehicle without a driver. What's your take on this? Let me know down in the comments below and check out one of these other videos. This has been Mr. Singularity, and I'll see you on the next one.